Wow, out of everyone who's been here, you really are the prettiest. Oh, no use looking for me. I don't have a physical form. I'm just me. <laughs> you might be thinking that you're going crazy, but I can assure you you're not. I haven't done anything to you yet. So your sanity is perfectly fine. From how I see it, at least. But let me introduce myself. I am the wandering spirit of your room. Well, of course ghosts exist. Why do you think this place was so cheap? Everyone wanted to move out. And the reviews were horrible. So the only way to keep people in is to make it affordable. That is so sad, by the way. But hey, don't you worry, I'm not an angry spirit. Just a needy one. Ever since I died, I crave the touch and warmth of another person. But of course, without a physical form, I'm not able to feel anything. So it's pointless, isn't it? But to my surprise, I found a way to be able to feel that warmth again. However, I never really tested it on anyone, so if you don't mind, could you possibly help me? I know what you might be thinking. And again, I can assure you I am not a malicious spirit. If I was, well, I would be doing way more damage. The only things that I really recall doing is just staring at you through the mirror. Yeah, those times where you felt like someone was looking at you, that was just me. Why was I looking? Well, anytime someone occupies my space, I just want to see who they are. And honestly, again, I thought you were really pretty. Why wouldn't I look at you? It's like admiring a pretty little flower. Anyone who's alive, they have so much warmth and color to them. I miss that so much. It's been so long since I've been able to feel such warmth. Oh, which reminds me of why I'm even talking to you to begin with. So, as you may know, I am a wandering spirit. And I know what you might be thinking. And no, I am not a spooky scary ghost that's going to haunt you. Unless you do something like really bad. There's been only one time where I felt the need to be... Well, petty. This guy was a bully. He hid behind an anonymous name to harass people. Because he thought no one was watching. Little did he know, I was. Why should he feel safe while others don't at his expense? That was my mindset. So, long story short, I got him to a psych ward. Haven't heard from him since. Well, I'm not really able to, but I can assume that he learned his lesson. But anyway, as long as you're not that type of person, we will get along just fine. I'm a very friendly person, or spirit. Even though my physical form isn't there anymore, I'm still like a human being, because I once was. I remember how it felt to be alive. It felt so warm and I took it for granted. And now, with so many regrets tied to this world, I'm not able to move on. So with your help, maybe I can finally just rest. I no longer have to be a wandering spirit. I can be at peace. So please, if you don't mind, I would love your help. All you really need to do is to accept me. That's all. And I will take care of the rest. I know that sounds really concerning. But rest assured, nothing will happen. You might feel a little weird, but overall it's a pleasant experience. Well, I tested this on a rat that lived here and everything seemed fine. Oh, right. I was meaning to tell you, there are some rats. Like I said, this place is cheap for a reason. But don't worry. They're not too bad. Quite friendly, actually. 
So, as I was saying, if you would allow me... Huh? You're okay with it? You want to do it? I see. Well, thank you for accepting my offer. I hope you're not doing this out of fear. All right, if you... If you say so. Okay. All I ask is to get comfortable and... Yeah, I'll take care of the rest. Thank you again. This really means the world to me. Maybe with this I can... I can finally move on. But yeah, uh, sit, sit. <sighs> All right. You don't see me, but currently I am holding your hands in my own. Soon, you will feel a presence irking behind you. Do not be afraid. That's me. And then it will feel like hands are roaming around on your body. Do not be afraid. Stay as still as possible, as your body accepts me. There you go. You're doing so good. Don't you worry. There is nothing to be afraid of. I'll take good care of you. You're letting me inside your body. I can already feel the warmth that I've been craving for so long. It feels amazing. <sighs> it feels so good to be inside of you. It's almost as if we were made for one another. I can feel my soul just intertwining with yours. We really are a perfect match. <laughs> and there it is. The warmth that I've craved for so long. After all these years, it's finally mine. Oh, it's already so addicting, feeling the life flow back into my veins. I forgot how good it felt to be alive. Oh, I must thank you. This really does mean the world to me. Now, with a physical body, I'm able to carry out the things that I've always wanted to do. Oh, don't you worry. It's still your body. It's more so I'm taking control. <laughs> you see, there are so many things that I've always wanted to do. And seeing how the world has evolved ever since I died. Why wouldn't I want to partake in everything? I've missed out on so much. So I have a lot of catching up to do. Now with my senses back, I can feel everything. Oh, don't worry. I know it's a bit scary that you can't feel your own body anymore. But it's fine. Just sit back and watch me take control. We'll get to experience all of my firsts, together. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ah, you're screaming. You act as if anyone can hear you anymore. Did you happen to forget who is in control now? I'm the only one who can hear your cries. So we might as well get along, especially now since we're sharing a body together. Yeah, our body. I love the sound of that. Don't you worry, my dear. Soon enough, you'll get used to our little... Bond? Contract? No, I don't like the sound of either of those. How about we call this... Our marriage? Yeah, I like the sound of that better. So what do you say, darling? Let's go celebrate our marriage. <laughs> <laughs> 